It's Brian Wheeler back at a sold-out Moda Center. We are just about ready for the start of the second half. The Snarks leading the just 9-6. to six. We go to 21, and it turns out that the Snarks will have the first possession of the second half. All right, here's uh, Lyons dribbling left, pulls up with, with the 19-footer out front, and is right through. By Brandon Lyons, I think uh, the scouting report from the Jets very not uh, not very complete. I mean, you don't lay off him and give him that kind of opportunity. So an 11 to six advantage as the Snark strike first. Jess with the ball now. Here's Foley along the left baseline, missed the jumper, trying to save it and play as Falcone. He does to Foley. Foley trying to come across the lane, but Jake Silberman stops play and calls a travel. So she dragged that pivot foot. Uh, Silberman, though, is one of those guys you don't want to argue with. The Joey Crawford of uh, this association, and he can tee you up very quickly. All right, the Snarks with the ball, leading 11-6 to six, and trying to add to their advantage. Lions to inbound, bounces the pass down low, and taking the jumper is Toscan, and he banks it home right of the lane. So the inside-outside combination is definitely proving to be effective for this ball club as the Snarks now go up 13-6. to six, So the Jest needs some points in a hurry, or this one could get out of hand very quickly. All right, Falcone to inbound. Throws near side of the floor to Harris. He pulls up with the left baseline jumper and banks it home. Nick Harris obviously going to the John Wooden School of always banking the shot when you're on the side of the floor. So the just on the board here in the second half, Foley trying to apply some pressure to the inbounds pass. And then Falcone steals. So a beautiful steal. And now the just trying to string some points together. Uh, here's Harris far side of the floor. And between the legs pass to Falcone who misses, but gets the pass again or gets the shot again. Trying to keep it in place, stumbles out of bounds and wasn't able to do so. Uh, good sportsmanship though as he has helped up but boy a terrific opportunity a between the legs pass from uh, from Harris to Falcone who just couldn't finish on the drive across the lane so it remains 13 to 8 in favor of the Snarks as uh, they will have the ball back so Doscani to inbound plays far side to Monroe Monroe turns makes a move along the baseline stumbles and is called for traveling he tripped and, uh, well, wait a minute, wait, 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 maybe there's not a travel. Uh, it appears there's a steal. I don't know if we heard a whistle. So pulling back for the left baseline, three is Lyons who scored. Now that might have been a well-designed play by the Snarks to draw the Jest into a false sense of security because it appeared that Monroe stumbled and traveled as he came across the lane from our replay. That's certainly the way it looked, but no whistle was called. So the Snarks quickly put it back into play, and they now lead 16-8. to eight. Oh, it's nervous time now for the Jest. Here's Foley. Oh, I think she went up and down. Yes, she did. She wanted to take that shot from the right elbow, but uh, the defense collapsing on her and, unfortunately, another turnover. So, uh, Jake Silberman gives the ball back to the Snarks, and here they come along the baseline, missing a short shot inside, and the ball tapped around, and the Jets have it. They need some points now. Here's Foley. She's an opening. Down the lane she comes and floats the shot up around and in. Beautiful play. Dinah Foley saw the opening and scores, and that was a badly needed hoop for the Jets. They are now down 16-10. to 10. All right, the Snarks to inbound once again. Here's Lyons trying a three-point. Oh, my goodness, he, there's no limit to his range. And Falcone says, wait a minute. The scouting report said he couldn't hit that shot, but he sure did. It was right through. Now it's 19-10. to 10. The Snarks very much in a position to win this game. But here comes a three-point around the lane that's missed, unfortunately, by Harris. And the rebound tracked down by Foley, though. Foley now throws the pass. It's tipped, but it gets to Falcone. Falcone pulls up on the near side of the floor. A 19 to 10 advantage for the Snarks. Falcone trying to go one on one. He's cut off. Now backing down, doing a lot of dribbling. But he sees an opening. And across the lane, he comes and banks it home with the right hand. Oh, there was a beautiful pick set by Harris to free up Falcone. Now, wait a minute. The replay says that Falcone dunked the ball. But I don't think that's the way I saw it unless my vision is going. Anyway, give the basket to the Jess. They are now down 19 to 12. But this is potentially a game winning possibility. And there's a move along the baseline that's missed. But the ball is tapped around. Snarks get it back. All right, this could be the game-winning hoop. Toscani takes it. A three, and he knocks it down. Oh, the hustle play. The Snarks got all the loose balls in this particular contest, and it leads to a game-winning three from Zach Toscani. And the Snarks, they needed 21. They got 22 just for good measure, and they win this contest 22-12 to over the Jest. One thing that we can see as the game comes to an end, the Snarks certainly were the club that was in better physical condition. The Jest simply are out of breath. They are out of condition, and I think when we get ready for a rematch in the future, they're going to need some better conditioning to be able to last because, really, as this game went on, the Snarks clearly showed their better physical status. 22-12, to 12, the Snarks get the victory over the Jest. I'm Brian Wheeler saying so long for Moda Center. Hopefully we'll have a rematch again very, very soon.